Terrific 2-0 victory for, for Shrewsbury Town. Aaron, how much did you enjoy that from, from start to finish? Yeah, really enjoyed it. The boys stuck to the game plan like perfectly, really, what we worked on Thursday, Friday. The boys just stuck to it from the first minute. You could see everybody knew the jobs and I thought it was just a proper team performance. And a couple of special goals as well from, from Harry Chapman, second half. Yeah, he's been doing it all week in training, Chappy. I said to him yesterday, I fancy tomorrow, because he'd just been banging him in all week in training. And you could see how much uh, work he did for the team. I think the manager mentioned to me to tell him he's got to work as a number eight without the ball and work as a number 10 with the ball. And I thought he did that down to a T and he was unbelievable and two great finishes. And he deserved that for his work rate today. It's such an important position, isn't it, for the team to have somebody with that ability who can make things happen. Yeah, we, we defend so well as a team and that's how we picked up points recently. And to have someone like Chappie who can wrap the ball into in tight areas and then he hurt the other team, it just makes it a different option for us. And he uh, obviously made, made the other team pay today for us. And what about that uh, defensive performance? We saw Peterborough score five against Shrewsby earlier in the season. We know they've got goals in their team and it's been one of those days where Matthias Sarkic hasn't had too much to do. No, I think it shows you where the team's come since the gaffers took over. He's got them really well organised and I think the lads wanted to put that result early on in the season right and they did that today and obviously yeah, delighted for Matty with his clean sheet and everyone defended as a team. Now, if you look at the work the, the front two did, Sean Worley running in behind him early, early second half off Donald's throwing, and then he, two minutes later he sprinted the length of the pitch to shield the ball out for our goal kick. So when you've got your strikers working like that in this division, I don't think there's two other strikers in the league who will you'll get a more honest performance from. And a debut for Nathaniel Ogbetter, a very good debut as well down the left hand side. Yeah, I thought he was unbelievable. We. I spoke to the lads about it before the game. He's only trained with us for a few days, and I, I spoke to the lads about protecting him. I told them that everyone remembers your debut and to make sure it's a nice memorable one for him, but I thought he was excellent. You can see he's the outlet for us. He's, he doesn't panic when he's on the ball. He's really composed. He can skip past people. He's got really quick feet, and you can tell he's been at a club like Manchester City where everything's tidy and sharp, and he did that really well for us. I thought for such a young lad making his full league debut, I thought his decision-making was excellent looking when to press, when to come back in. You had Aaron Pierre and Vels and Norbs coaching him through the game and I thought he was excellent and he can be really proud of himself. 2-0 of course will do more than nicely but in some ways could it have been more? Yeah I think so, I think we had good chances and I think uh, we counter press really well when we lost the ball we got it back really quickly. I thought Vels and Norbs were excellent in midfield. I don't want to single anyone out really because it was such a team performance but we jumped on things really well decision making at times could have been a little bit better and we maybe would have got more goals but you can't complain great 2-0 victory and the team selection couple of changes from a week ago at Sunderland no Matthew Pennington or, or Leon Clark today was that injuries for, for so the yeah uh, Penno fell on his shoulder awkwardly in training on Tuesday uh, Matthew Pennington he's seen a specialist and depending on how it settles down over the next few weeks it could be a long term or a short term it just depends on how it heals so a bit disappointing for Penno such a great lad been great around the place since he's been in excellent trainer excellent talker everything about him's excellent really his attitude so gutted for Penno and, and similar for Clarky coming out the team another injury so uh, Clarky did a bit of running on his day off Wednesday uh, and felt his hamstring so uh, had a scan yesterday, spoke to the physio and it's looking like it could be a couple of weeks as well. So two disappointments really uh, coming into the game, but I thought the team dealt well with those uh, and people who stepped in did unbelievably. With, with players going back to parent clubs after loan spells, the squad is, is, is reducing in size, I suppose, availability at the moment. The, the, the window has a couple more days to, to go. Do you anticipate... Um, the ins and outs ahead of that at this moment in time? Yeah, I think when it gets to this stage and there's a couple of days left, you're always anticipating things could happen. I think that's at most clubs. And uh, like I've said in a couple of interviews, me and Dave don't really get involved in that side of it. You've obviously got the head of recruitment, Keith Burt, who's in close contact with the manager, and Brian Caldwell, and they sort out those kind of deals. And we wait to see if players are coming in. And me and Dave integrate them in training, and that's the way it's been since the start of the window, to be honest. It's clearly been a, a very challenging time for the football club continues to be so with, with the manager absent but this, does this just give everybody a, you know, a real boost, a, a big lift? It does yeah and we've, we've just had the gaffer on loudspeaker in the changing room at the end of the uh, game then and it was, it was quality the things he said. You could hear he was emotional in his voice and uh, the boys really appreciated the things he said to everyone. 
it was like he was back in the building for a second and it was really good and he was just really proud of everyone and uh, like you say it's been difficult times but I think we always knew it's been it's been difficult without the manager really difficult obviously he's such a big influence on the team and as well as the 14 day break away from the training ground and then the two long trips to Southampton and Sunderland me and Dave were never worried there was no change in the lads attitude with the two losses away at Southampton and Sunderland it was just a break that killed us a little bit and we knew after getting those two games in our legs we'd see the performances come back which were there before all this happened so really pleased with the attitude of the players the way they've took on board things this week in training has been excellent I'm just proud of every one of them. That must have been a very special moment to, for the players to hear from from the manager at the end of the game. It was he came, we got him on at half time as well to be honest I had a couple of missed calls off him so I knew and he wanted to speak to the players and he's the things he says the gaffer he doesn't miss a trick in every every aspect of life really and the things he said you can see the boys nodding their heads they were answering him individually when he's speaking to him and he just kept him going and I think it was really important and obviously such a big miss around the place but he's just really proud he's texted me congratulations and he's really proud of everyone all the staff and all the players and the run your run against the division's top clubs is incredible. You look at the top four tonight, yep. and Shrewsbury have beaten all four of them since December the 12th. How impressive is that? Yeah, it's good, and obviously we need to go into every game with attitude, and I think we do. We've got a great group of honest players, and we always get honest performances out of them. That's the main thing, great group. So we've just got to keep doing that, no matter who it's against, top or bottom teams, and uh, we'll go a long way. Well done today. Thanks so much. Thanks. Cheers.